Hey Fig Tree, who would have thought that it's only two months away until our World Missions Conference? This year, from August the 19th to the 27th, we have Andy Bannister and his family coming from the UK. Andy is the equivalent to the director of the Centre for Public Christianity over in England. And um, there will be more details uh, about him, his family, and our mission partners coming up in the weeks ahead. But we just wanted to let you know about a very special missions dinner on the evening of Saturday the 19th of August. You will remember back last year to our special evening dinner that we had in celebration of our Golden Jubilee. A time for us to bring together uh, members of the church, families from across 8 a.m., 9.30 up at Mount Kembla, 10 o'clock, and 6 p.m. where we gather together to have food and fun and fellowship and remember the faithfulness of our great and gracious God. Well, there's an opportunity to do something similar at this missions dinner. And so we'd love you to put that date in your diary and look forward to having our church family and members of our community come together in preparation and celebration for our World Missions Conference. Now, I'm sure that many of you will remember our guests from last year's World Missions Conference, Steve and Michelle Connor from the United States. Our executive manager here at Fig Tree Anglican Church, Scott Simpson, was over in the United States just last week and he had the opportunity to meet with Steve and Michelle. Uh, they have a short video where they had the opportunity to pass on their warm regards, their thankfulness for our partnership in the gospel, time together last year, and also um, in giving towards our missions conference fundraising target. Hello, friends at Fig Tree. We just wanted to take a moment to say that we just had a special time with you last year. We have our mugs here every morning with our tea to remember all of our dear friends we met and just the love that you all gave us in our time there. We've got Scott here with us and it just brought back so many fond memories of our wonderful time at your church. Yeah. I've got a confession to make. I don't like tea, it's a coffee mug. <laughs> you, you guys, congratulations big time on, on making your goal last year and the, the, the outreach, no doubt, it's gone around the world. Um, again, as what Michelle said, we had a great time last year. It's great having Scotty here. We have a, a national, international conference that he's been amazing at. And uh, so thank you and we love you. And, and seriously, uh, just a last thought. We were really touched by you guys. And, and no doubt the new, new whoever's gonna speak next, you, you will bless them and you guys are blessed in the world. We love you guys. Wasn't that lovely to hear from Steve and Michelle? Well, a few things coming up in our family news for the weeks ahead. This Saturday, uh, families are gathering together for a special family movie night. That'll take place at the hub at the church building from 5 p.m. Uh, if you've got kids uh, from little ones all the way up to year six, you're most welcome to come along, bring your own dinner and snacks. Then on Sunday, after our 6 p.m. gathering, we have Nanny's Indonesian food truck coming to join us to give us a chance to enjoy some cuisine and fellowship together. Prices will range from three bucks through to about 20 bucks, and um, there will be vegetarian and vegan dishes available as well. Now, men, uh, we have an opportunity to get together to enjoy some really good food and some conversations together on Wednesday, the 28th of June. Uh, that's going to be a men's schnitty night up at Mount Kebla pub, and we'll be meeting up there from 7 p.m. And then finally, just to let you know, as we come into the final furlong of our sermon series in Galatians, we'll look again at the topic of one gospel. We're getting into the deep stuff in chapter five, thinking about vice and virtue, what it means to have liberty, but not to move into being a license to do anything we want. And how also then in the power of the spirit to fulfill the law of God in a way that honors him. Uh, there's also going to be a, a special comic book version of the heretical heroes that we've been giving you week in, week out on the weekly newsletter update. For those who don't receive the email, uh, there'll be a hard copy. We're hoping to make that full color and that'll be a fun opportunity to see some of the ways in which we've got Jesus wrong over the years and how we as his people keep going back to the word of God to calibrate and understand who Jesus really is. Well, God bless you, Fig Tree. Look forward to seeing you on Sunday.